Hi there and welcome to Wondershare Recover It. Now, you might be faced with a situation where you're trying to install a new update, but you keep running into a BitLocker encryption problem. This means you might need to disable it first because without disabling the BitLocker encryption, the update could fail or your system might not boot properly. But don't worry, because you've just found the perfect video to help you skip this bump. In this video, I will show you how to disable BitLocker on Windows 10 and 11 devices step by step. Trust me, it's a simple process that can be done with just a few clicks. But before we get started, please do consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on helpful tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll be happy to help. Now, let's get on to that BitLocker warning and making it go away from your screen for good. For this video, I've identified five methods that you can use to disable BitLocker on Windows 10 and 11. Let's start with the first method, which is the easiest one for most users. This is the most user-friendly way to turn off BitLocker. You don't need any command lines or third-party tools because BitLocker is built into Windows. If you want a simple, straightforward way to get the job done, then this is the method for you. Start by clicking on the Start menu and then search for Settings. Once it opens, go to the Privacy and Security section and look for Device Encryption. If you don't see it, you can simply type Manage BitLocker into the Windows search bar and open it from there. Once inside the encryption settings, you will see an option for enabling or disabling device encryption. If this option is currently on, then turn it off and this will disable BitLocker. If you get a confirmation message that pops up, then click yes to proceed and Windows will then begin decrypting the drive. Be warned though, this process may take some time depending on how large the drives are and how much data is stored within them. Here, I think it's important that I mention that if you do not have your BitLocker pin or password, you won't be able to turn it off using this method. In that case, you should try another method. If you're using Windows Pro, Enterprise, or Education Editions, then you have access to the Local Group Policy Editor. This method is a great option if you want to disable BitLocker for all users on the system without needing to enter a password for each drive. I like this method because it applies system-wide changes, which means that once it's set up, you don't need to have to keep turning off BitLocker every time you plug in a new drive. Click on the Start menu or press the Windows and R key on your keyboard to open the Run application. In the Run dialog box, type gpedit.msc and click OK. This will open the Local Group Policy Editor window. On the left panel, go to Computer Configuration Double click on administrative template to open it. Scroll through the list and double click on Windows components. This section contains different Windows services, including BitLocker settings. Look for BitLocker drive encryption and double click on it. Once inside, locate fixed data drives and open it. In the new window, find deny right access to fixed drives not protected by BitLocker, Double click on it to open its settings. You will see three options, not configured, enabled, and disabled. Select disabled to turn off BitLocker encryption. Click apply, then okay to confirm the changes. Close the group policy editor and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. I love this method because it does not require a BitLocker password if you run it as administrator. Also, it applies to all users and drives on the system, so you don't have to disable BitLocker for each drive manually. If you prefer using commands, but you want something simpler than command prompt, then PowerShell is a great option. It allows you to disable BitLocker with just a few lines of code. All you need to do is press the Windows and S key and search for PowerShell, right click on it and select run as administrator. Type the following command and then press enter. Disable dash bitlocker dash mount point followed by the letter for the drive that is encrypted. 
If you want to decrypt all BitLocker protected drives, enter these commands instead. Dollar sign BLV equals get dash BitLocker volume dot disable dash BitLocker dash mount point dollar sign BLV. This will apply the changes to all encrypted drives. This process may take some time, so avoid interrupting your system whilst it's running. Command Prompt is a powerful tool that lets you disable BitLocker using simple commands. I like this method because it's fast and reliable and it does not require any extra menus. Click on Start and search for Command Prompt. Right click and select Run as Administrator. Then type the following command and press enter. Manage dash BDE dash status. This will show you which drives have BitLocker enabled. To disable BitLocker for a particular drive, then type manage dash BDE dash off, followed by the letter for that particular drive. The process can take several minutes depending on the size of the drive. Run the manage dash BDE dash status command again. If the encryption percentage shows 0%, then BitLocker is fully disabled. This is a great method for people who are comfortable using commands. Plus, it's more interesting because unlike other methods, you don't need to go through the multiple menus. BitLocker runs as a background service within Windows. By disabling it, you can prevent BitLocker from encrypting new files or turning itself back on unexpectedly. So I'll now show you how you can permanently disable BitLocker services without sweating about it. Press the Windows and R key and open the Run window. Type services.msc and click OK. Scroll down to find BitLocker Drive Encryption Services. Double click on it to open its settings. Under Startup Type, select Disabled from the drop down menu. Click Apply, then OK. After doing this, you should restart your computer for the changes to take effect. This method ensures that BitLocker does not start again on its own. So, if maybe you're worried about Windows reactivating it later, this is the best way to stop that from happening. Disabling BitLocker is one thing, but what if you lose important files in the process? This is where Recover It comes in. Whether it's due to an update, accidental deletion, or file corruption, Recover It helps you get back lost data quickly and easily. I'll now show you how you can recover your files using Recover It. Download and launch Recover It. Choose the drive or folder where your files were lost. Ensure you grant full access so the app can scan for all lost files. Click the scan button and let Recover It search for any lost files. Once the scan is complete, preview the files and select Recover. Then select a safe location on your computer to restore the files to. And that's it. With just a few clicks, your lost files are back. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or you've ran into any issues, then let us know in the comments down below and we'll be happy to help. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tips.